Hello and welcome to the next video in the series about uh, learning to program. So, uh, what we're going to do um, today is we're going to look at variables and printing to onto the screen. So we saw a bit about these uh, last time. We're going to think about uh, two different types of variables: um, integers n1, n2, and n3. And M4, for example, and doubles, which are like real numbers. So we have one which is energy, one which is temperature, and let's have another one which is angle. Now, um, when people uh, often start to program, they prefer, I mean, I remember I did this when I was younger, I preferred to use just uh, a single letter for a variable. But if you actually use a whole word like energy, then it's a lot easier to remember what uh, your variable is referring to. Okay, so integer and double. Integer, int uh, is a whole number, and uh, double is a real number. So we can set values to these things. So n1 is equal to uh, 15 and 2 is equal to 23 and 3 well I'm actually going to set n4 here is equal to 8 now these are all separate commands each of these commands has got a semicolon after it like here and here and because it's got a semicolon after it we can put them on the same line or we can sit on separate lines or we can leave big gaps between them it doesn't matter uh, now for, for to save space here I'm just going to put these commands together because I want to try and keep all the program on the screen now as well as defining them here we can also find them here say n3 equals 42 uh, but you you don't have to define it at the beginning and you just can define it later Okay, so those are the integers. Let's define uh, the doubles. So energy might be 3.42. Whoops. Uh, whoops. We need to put an equal sign in there. Temperature equals 2.5, say. And angle equals uh, well three point one four four one five nine divided by four. So um, so what I've done there for for the last and for the angle I've put in a value of pi and then divided that by four. So an example of putting a calculation. Okay, so we're not going to do much with these values in this program. So what I've been doing, I should have mentioned this before, we've just been editing the old Hello World program. And if I run this program, now with this editor, I can edit the program over here on the left-hand side. But then on the right-hand side here, I can actually run the program. So if I click this button to run, now at the moment, the program is setting up variables and assigning values, but it doesn't actually do anything with them. So if we run it, um, all the program does is print hello world, and then backslash n is a new line character. So we get hello world and a new line. We add a couple more new line characters, and we run it again. We'll get hello world and a few more new lines. So what we want to do is um, actually print out some of these variables. So let's change this and say n1 is equal to, now what we use is a special code called percent %d. I'm going to put a backslash n as a new line character there. n2 is equal to backslash d. Sorry, percent D, backslash N, 
Now M3 is equal to D. Now, what this percent D does, so now it's going to print up N1 is equal to, and then percent D is a signal to the print command to look for a number. Now, it doesn't know to look for this N1. What you have to do is after this bit in quotes, you have to put a comma in, which is this comma, and then put a number. So in this case, we're going to put N1. And then, so that looks after the first percent D. Backslash N makes a new line. Then the N2 is here, equal to, and then the percent D here. Uh, prints the next number and then the n3 is there percent d it's the next number so we need two more numbers in this list so we can do n2 and n3 okay so let's run that and now what we do is we get a list of uh, three numbers on the screen n1 equals 15 n2 is 23 n3 is 42 the backslash ends give us new line characters that sort of printed reasonably neatly on the screen. I just want to point out that this uh, the computer is reasonably stupid, so that if I change the program there, so that the first number is N3, the next number is N1, the next number is N3, and I run it, I wonder if you can guess what's going to happen. You could pause the video and figure it out if you would like. So uh, I'm going to hit the button now. We run that. Now, although the text says N1 is equal to percent %D, because we put the number N3 in the list, it does not not clever enough to know that it should be printing N1. It just says, OK, N3, let's print N3, and N3 equals 42. So the first number we have here is 42. Then uh, instead of N2, we're printing N1 again. N1, not again, but for the first time. And the value of N1 is 15. So it says N2 is 15. And N3, uh, now N3 we already know is 42. And so it prints N2. And that time it has got the right. There. So I'm just going to change that back again. Oops. Now we, we haven't printed out uh, N4, so let's do that. We don't have to print everything in the same statement. We can have a separate statement. So I'm just going to modify this so that it prints 4 next. And now we only need one number after the uh, quotes because we're only printing one number. That's N4. Let's run that. Okay. And that's done exactly the same as before when I was doing it correctly. N4 equals 8. We need N4 equals 8. Okay. Right. Okay. So um, that's a way to print out integers. Now. What we're going to do is uh, print out some of the uh, doubles, uh, the numbers with uh, decimal points, some of the real numbers. Energy equals, now we need to use a different uh, code here. Percent G uh, generally works quite nicely. Uh, temperature equals percent G, backslash N. And again, and again, backslash n is good for uh, just giving us a new line. Uh, no. Now what I'm going to do as well here, okay, what we need to do here, and now again, we've got these uh, percent g things here here and here and here so we need to give the printf three numbers for those percent g so they're energy temperature and angle now this is just wrapped around the line but i think it's maybe worth making the point here 
that we can just um, break things over lines and leave spaces in C. Because we always have these semicolons at the end, uh, the computer knows that the statement hasn't finished and will keep looking. Okay, so let's try running that and see what happens. Okay, so now it's printing energy, temperature, and angle as well. Now, let's. Uh, it, one thing to, to suggest is just to demonstrate that we can uh, add this thing E3 when we're defining these numbers here. E minus 2. And what that E means is uh, I'll give a different example. I'm going to make it a capital here. It doesn't matter for Sicily. What that e means is times 10 to the power of uh, this number here, or 10 to the power of that number there. So we run that again, or pause and think about what is going to come out. Print it. So 3.42 times 10 to the power of 3 is 3420. And 2.5. E minus 2 is 2.5 times 10 to minus 2, which is 0.025. Um, if we make these uh, bigger, in terms of the powers, and then we run it again, then uh, percent %G uh, is clever enough to know that we don't want to have 3, 4, 2, and then 28 zeros after it. It's easier to represent that number like so. And similarly, it's easier to represent this number like that rather than putting naught point and then loads of noughts and then two five. So this is why I recommend at least begin with use this percent G character uh, to print out um, for double variables. Okay. Um, so what we've looked at uh, is storing uh, numbers and in integers and uh, storing numbers in doubles, oops, uh, here. And we've looked at uh, how to set the values and we've looked at how to print things out. Uh, one thing here is if we set energy equals to 3.5 and uh, N4 is equal to 45 there. And we run the program. Then N4 hasn't changed to 45, N4 is still equal to 8. It's a small point to make, but because we set the value of N4 here is equal to 8, uh, that overrides uh, the previous value. It overwrites. Actually, overwrites is better. Overrides it gives us a new value. If we take out that, however, and if we take out uh, this um, Russian for energy, actually, what I'm going to do here show a neat little trick. What I've done there is turned that expression setting energy into a comment. So now the computer is going to ignore this expression. If we run that again, now we have N4 equals 45 and the energy is 3.5 as they were set up here. Because we took out the command to reassign the value of N4 here, we took it out and we've turned this one into a comment. So it's ignoring that. Okay, um, I think uh, there are just um, two more uh, types of variable which we're going to think about now. One is character C and file star F in out. So character variable. Um, is something which stores a number. Let's put a note about that. C stores a number between 0 and 255. And um, F in out is a file pointer. So file pointers are used to save data and load 
documentation from files. Oh. From files. So if you want to save uh, information to a file or you want to load data from a file, you're going to need to use the file point. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, I hope that is useful and uh, what we've covered there is how to uh, declare some variables, uh, set their values and print them to the screen.